Hi and there. the body. How's the body? We've made third scale female body moulds and we we're about to pour the foam liquid into it to make the actual body. What we use is uh, an S foam product. Get it from Barnes Online. Uh, it's a two part mix. It's a 100 to 45 mix. So we've measured out a couple of cups of the, the, the two parts. Once we pour the two parts together, they go off quite rapidly. You've only got a, uh, what's it, about 20? Eight seconds, I think. Eight seconds mixing time. Uh, and then we pour, um, start pouring the liquid into both halves. We've got the wire armature that goes down the body into the arms and the legs so that we can bend the body once it's done. Uh, whack the top on and hold it on and it foams up. In theory. In theory. So, you want to stick? Chuck us a stick. And stick. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. go. Mix madly. Looks like coffee. It does look like coffee. Can you see it? It stinks. All right, we're ready to go. Starting to foam. All right. And get it down, down the arms. Not as quick as the other stuff. No. Failure always an option. It is. We've got to whack that top on. And three, two, one, go. This is a slightly different product to what we used to. This is called S Foam 50. I think the other one was S Foam 60, which is something to do with the density of the foam. And the other stuff used to go off. You mix it and when we poured it in it just used to go and it used to just come pouring out the arms and legs. This seems to be taking a little bit longer to actually react and it's oozing this side. Starting to ooze. So expand, it's expand oh yeah, it's oozing like crazy out here. I'll bring the camera around you can have a look. It's pouring pouring out and as long as it goes. as long as it's coming out the sides we've got all, enough all four sides yeah so we have a bit of a an eruption going on which is good the growing legs <laughs> yeah we've got oodles oh it's pouring out we've Just got a a mountain of it coming out here. Well, we may not need quite that much next time. This amount is what we used on the male body, which was slightly bigger. So we'll adjust the proportions next time. Funny stuff. You do want plenty coming out. Though. Yeah. So that you don't get voids inside the body, you want to make sure it is you have plenty oozing out so that it fills it nicely. Good thing it doesn't eat foam cups. Yeah, the moulds were waxed really well before we put this in too, just using our normal um, uh, mould release, Maguire's mould release wax. So given a good old uh, wax and a polish. So you've got plenty oozing out. Come back an hour or so later and the foam's set. 
So just to initially get this mould apart, just had to prise it off with a, a chisel, an old <laughs> prop, just to loosen it all the way around. So that came off nicely. And um, there she is. <laughs> so now we just um, gently work the rest of this out. It's essential to do a good waxing. Just a bit of, bit of yoga. So these, all this flashing, just a quick rough trim. There we go, so a rough trim. Um, there it is so with the wire in it she should sit knees will bend we have a 3d printed head the neck's going to be too long that will just oh, it's not too bad actually go over the top We'll 3D print some um, hands in a, uh, a grip pose position. So now that we've got the body, trim it off properly and uh, can hop to it and start making a flight suit for her. Something that she'll wear when she's going into the Fokker, into the D8. Yeah, pretty cool. And weight wise, uh, and she weighs. About 180 grams and she's trimmed up should be about 180 and uh, fully poseable yeah we'll start making some clothing <laughs> 